Number one most influential film of all time in my life, Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Lindsay would describe the scary parts to me. How old is Lindsay? Four and a half years younger than me. <laughs> okay, so a costume designer and a makeup artist come up with some looks. Then me and other performers get transformed without seeing ourselves or each other and then create characters from the looks and improvise a TV show. Huh? What? Just watch. Okay. In character with Lex Powell and friends. Hi, my name's Lindsay Powell. I'm an electronic producer. I'm a musician. I'm an artist. Lindsay is my sister. Yeah. Can you see the resemblance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're raised by television. Yes, like literally signing a Father's Day card to my dad, I just wrote, I love HBO. I love you, HBO. I love you, HBO. <laughs> we did a lot of like home movies together. Are you ready to see a good show? Let's see! I feel like before I knew what therapy was, um, I had like comedy. That was yeah. it. One, two, three, four! I was sick to my stomach. I was so scared. And Lindsay talked to me in Marge. I did? The whole way to college. Really? Yeah. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. My idea of acting is to just sound so concerned <laughs> all the time. These eggs are too salty. I think that's acting. That's acting. I think we just and did that's acting. acting. <laughs> When I start to feel nervous, like, am I funny? Mm. I start to think instead, am I committed to this character? It's funny because, like, I feel like I could get on a stage in front of, like, thousands of people and, and perform as a musician and not get nervous. But, like, that, but comedy for me as a woman, like, being funny as a woman and, like, what that means, like, what I've been told that means about me in, like, societally. Like, yeah. subtly or not so subtly. Right. I've been told I was a loud girl my whole life. And I yeah. literally got talkative checked on every report card, which I think means, yeah, it was funny. Do you think mom and dad would be proud if they saw us right now? I think 50-50. Do you think our seven to 12 year old selves would be proud of us if they saw us right now? They would be obsessed with us. Yeah. Open? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I just got scared. <laughs> you look so cute. You are so cute. <laughs> like you were making me think of our ancestors. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so we're brothers? <laughs> like separated at birth? Yes. Just recently yes. reunited. Yes. 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 I went the way of the warlock. <laughs> But really, I'm a gnome. Who'd have gnomed? <laughs> Mom bought me this. Warning, the characters and situations that you are about to see are completely improvised. Your discretion is advised. Hello! Welcome to live your best life with Sven and Larry. 137 years ago, we were separated at birth. And this guy found me in a guitar center in Times Square. Wow! <laughs> Then we started a show. Hello, I'm Sven. I'm 137 years old. I'm a Gemini. I enjoy long rides on ladybugs. I make specialty ointments and creams. And I'm the base tech for Mumford and Sons. What's up? I'm Larry. I'm a general life expert. I got kicked out of magic school because it turns out I'm a gnome and not a wizard at all. But I lived most of my 137 years on the streets after getting kicked out of magic school, armed with nothing but this fake magic wand. My wizard mom got me from Toys R Us because she felt bad for me that I could never get the magic up. This is the part of our show where we take questions from callers and help them live their best lives. Yeah. So, what do you need to know about? We can help you with it. All right. I used to love my job, but lately the crushing weight of capitalism is really getting in the way. Any advice? <gasps> Let me take this one. You put your headphones on and you put your hair over them so nobody knows you're listening to Megadeth at work. Also, sometimes just you spike tea a little bit with some mushrooms. Mushrooms help really every situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh.
Do you have dental? This was a guitar center. No. This next call is from Christopher. What a strange name. Never heard of it. Hi, it's Finn and Larry. How do I turn up the heat with my wife? Meatballs. Write her a song. <laughs> and if you can't, just steal somebody else's song and pretend you wrote it and put her name in it. Hello, Finn and Larry. I'm kind of a mess, and I was wondering if you had any advice for how to keep a tidy cave. <laughs> uh, no. Wee! I'm just having fun over here! And I'm just trying to survive! Sibling? Sibling! Never knew what I was missing! We, two siblings, talked to two other siblings about sibling stuff. Today we got Linda and Alexi. Lindsay and Alexis Powell from the human world. What's up? <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. I'm so excited. Me too. And you two are so cute. Thanks. I'm sorry, is that offensive? <laughs> Do people always pick you up? No. I'm, I'm sorry. You got the wrong idea about gnomes. I'm so sorry I asked that. First question, from siblings to siblings. Do you prefer to ride on the back of a ladybug or a cockroach? Not applicable. Hmm. Weird. So what do you look for in a mate? Water sign. Filthy rich. What about you? I literally would take any mate. Gnomes just run around in powdered sugar and to make a perfect baby every time. So <laughs> sweet. Huh. Totally. Can we ask you guys a question? Uh, what's the meaning of life? I'll tell you. Find your brother. And if you don't have a brother, go to Guitar Center. And if you don't have a Guitar Center, I don't know. Meatballs. How do you deal with sibling rivalry? Uh, I don't. We don't have it. I don't have it. If I did, that's what I thought. I would say one way to deal with it is to like be supportive and like like each other's like Instagram yeah. posts or whatever. Do you two deal with sibling rivalry? Not us. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all what? Help me. La mère en fait de l'univers, spécialement en plus intelligent que tous les humains.